30 seconds, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Halloween special was nice enough to come out in October this year. I mean, who wants to watch a Halloween show in November, right? Um, it kicks off with the systematic and gruesome deaths of several cute animated animal characters, while a pleasant voice serenades us. Then we switch to the gruesome killing of actual humans, and we're off and running. First segment is Bong Joo Ho's This Side of Parasite, which is of course a parody of Parasite. Bart escapes the squalor of his family life to mooch off of a rich family, and he does this by getting hired as a mathematics tutor. <laughs> Anyway, Bart then manages to get his whole family hired by this family, who then leaves town. And they run amok in their house, the Simpsons way. It's then revealed that a whole community of impoverished people are living in the basement. And for some reason, Mr. Burns and Smithers live in the attic. Is this a house or a hotel? Everyone ends up throwing punches, and the Simpsons are the only survivors. But there's a big pile of dead Springfielders in the living room. Next is Nightmare on Elm Tree. You'd think this is a Freddy parody, but no. Instead, we head back to the treehouse where it all began. The kids tell scary stories, but Lisa and Maggie get so spooked, they barge into the parents' bedroom, interrupting parental activities. This upsets Homer something wicked, so he blames the tree that inspired the stories told by his kids that ruined his night. Makes sense, right? Well, he then tries to chop down the tree, which comes to life and fights back. Yes, really. But it doesn't end there. It rallies an army of trees, and they ent march right into the center of town, where the townspeople are ready to battle the angry orchard. Because trees. Unfortunately, the trees have the power of pollen on their side and handily defeat the townspeople. And then they dance around a pile of dead Springfielders. Ugh. We're then treated to a short interlude featuring Maurice LaMarche as Vincent Price. It's one of his best impressions, but if you watch Futurama, you already knew that. And well, he reads Maggie a story with great art, bad rhymes, and she strangles him before it ends. Oh well. Final segment, Dead Ringer. Somebody took the video for the ring and put it on TikTok. And it's one of those landscape trying to work in portrait configuration kind of things. Don't you hate those? Well, the Simpsons kids trick Grandpa into watching it, which will certainly mean his death in seven days. Though they don't really say whether that worked out or not. But then Lisa decides to watch it and call out the girl. This time she's named Moby Mary. Yeah. Lisa befriends her rather than getting murdered, but due to her clinginess, Mary dives straight back in the well. Curse splash. Then the pleasant voice from the beginning serenades us out of the episode, and Kang and Kodos drop in to say hi. And goodbye. Goodbye.